Welcome back, all you big bass lovers. It's your boy, DeMont, coming back at you again. Um, just want to go over a few things, up. some stuff I've been really impressed with. Um, I've been really impressed with a couple reels that I got from AliExpress. One was the Caesar Mansory. Um, I've been using this reel with the BFS spool. Um, I've been throwing some top waters and stuff with it. I've been throwing a um, little... Uh, Jaguar Piku Pikus, um, little Kazashis, did some different things like that. And this is on the um, Ark Invoker. This is their limited edition. Um, it's a six foot six uh, medium light. So you can see that if I can bring it in. It says regular, like it's a cranking rod, but I would say it's more of a medium fast. Um, that rod, but that Mansory reel, I've been really impressed with that. And also another reel from Caesar that I've been really impressed with is, let me turn it over here so you can try to see the side plate of it, is the CRSTX or Cast X. I've been really enjoying this reel a lot too. I've been throwing like my finesse jigs and stuff with this. This is on another Invoker Limited Edition. This is um, six foot 10 medium. Medium action, extra fast. Let me see if I can bring it over here. Let me flip it back around. So you can try to see what's on here. There you go, six foot eight. Now if I get set right, medium, extra fast. It says one sixteenth, but this is more, I would say more, I wouldn't say one six. well, you could probably get away with it, but I've been using the BFS spool on here as well. I've been using the 10 pound fluorocarbon leader um, this is, um, I want to say, do I have it right here? Yeah, dear, there it is. This is 10 pound braid. Yep. Okay. So let me get off of that. And you guys see my last video where I reviewed the Ryobi and I started thinking about budget swim bait reels. So, and I seen that Caesar had one. Well, the box came in a little bit squished from AliExpress. This is the Caesar. Let me see. Good grief. It came in really squished. I'm trying to see the name of it. Um, I guess I have to open it up. All right. So it has a little bubble wrap bag. A little card. It still doesn't say the name on it. It has a telephone number on it. You can call them on the WhatsApp. All right, it's got, hey, at least they, they put stuff in English. I mean, I'll give them credit for that. They put stuff in English. All right, so let's set the box to the side for a second. Throw that away. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. Looks interesting so far. Nothing else in the bag. So let's put these to the side. Knobs feel nice. It feels buttery smooth. Wow. Feels really smooth. Dang. And it says 11 plus 1 bearings. So it has more bearings than the other two does. Um... This reel was really cheap. Really nice feeling trigger. Let's go through and see. Nice clicks. I like that, it's nice touches. You'd be surprised that the bigger mainstream reels, they don't give you this stuff, like click and spool tension knobs. You can do it aftermarket, but like the $200 and cheaper, you don't get that. Even that's even on my, um, my metaniums. Doesn't have a clicking spool tension. Man, I can't give her how smooth that feels. Damn. Man, that is <laughs> a really fluid feeling. Good grief. But that's kind of what I've been experiencing with these other Caesars. Um, all right, so let's see. I mean, those both have nine buttons. Let's see what these have. Nine magnet buttons. This has the same. Has basically has the same braking as the other two have. 
um, the nine buttons. But this one, the whole spool handle comes off. The other two don't. It has like a little thing that drips down. But this this reel is cheaper than those two reels. Um, so let's just get some specifics over real fast. Man, it's got the big oversized line guide. It's got a little knob here for you to tie your line onto. I probably like to put a small amount of braid down the bottom here. Um, and then put some 20 pound fluoro in here. Let's see what we got working with here. Let's turn this puppy on. All right, so let's just switch it over to ounces first. Oops, wrong thing. Wrong button. Milliliters. Ounces, there we go. So let's see. 7.9 ounces for a swim bait reel. That's pretty damn good. That's Tranks character. That's the small Tranks. Um, I have never had a Tranks, but I've picked up a Tranks. And it doesn't feel as smooth as this. This is a, okay, I see the name on here now. It's called a Mega, Mega Cuda. Mega Cuda. Like a Barracuda. This is called a Mega Cuda. There you go, you can see it now. Hopefully you can. Let's see if I can bring it in and try to get it focused in. Damn. There you go, Mega Cuda. Dang. Um, it says it's designed and engineered by Caesar. High gear ratio, 6.5 to 1. That's not a super high gear ratio, but that's perfect, especially for paddle tails. Um, also, you could use this reel really, really easily for A-rigs. Man, I can't hear how smooth that feels. It'd be nice if it had this information on the box. None of that's on the box. Put that back down again. Okay, let's just see, just for shits and giggles. You don't really see how much a... Okay, you gotta clean that up. I'm surprised this reel is as smooth as it feels, as greasy as this spool looks. That thing is just covered in grease, look at that. All right, let's switch it over to grams back again. There we go. Uh, 13 grams pool. Probably weighs a little, either a little bit more. Than, I don't have my, my jewel scale right now. It's kind of over there somewhere. Um, so it's probably, it's a little heavier spool, but it's still for a, a swim bait reel, that's pretty good. That's like regular... Uh, like Daiwa, not Daiwa, well, Daiwa and regular Shimano spools um, for like your SLX and things of that nature. But you can see the same greases in here. But this thing is smooth as silk. Damn. And I think it looked good. Looks really good. Damn. As impressed as I've been with these other two reels. And this is the cheaper reel. I know it's supposed to have an aluminum frame. I don't, sometimes, yeah, I can't bend it, so, oops. Look at that. It just popped right off. It didn't break, so that's good. This little piece here is plastic. So we've learned that. Okay, so it goes, this piece goes right there. Well, this is designed to come off. Okay. These are like little clips. They're designed to come off. All right. So let's see how it goes back on. Let's see this. This clicks here. That pops there. And this is supposed to let me take the spool off, the cover off. And that goes right there like that. Huh. I've never seen a, a reel that's designed for this piece to pop down. So you can get to your worm gear and stuff a lot easier. I mean, as long as you're not... I don't really see that being like a... I mean, I was yanking up pretty hard because I want to see if the frame would bend. This up here didn't bend at all. This little piece right here came off. 
but it's plastic. And it's designed to pop off. And it's designed to go right back on. Huh. I'm not feeling no flexing on the side plates. So, I mean, it's... I, when you pick up a cheap reel sometimes, you can really feel how cheap that feels just by, by squeezing here. You can squeeze here and then it'll flex down. You almost feel like you can break it. Um, I have a really strong hands. And I ain't trying to brag or nothing, but anybody that knows me knows that <laughs> I can crush it. And, yeah, I'm not feeling any flex on any of it. Um, let's just compare. Yeah, this is the Rogue. I mean, I, this reel here feels really good, too. I like this reel. But I can mash here, and you can see it clearly starting to squish down. Yeah, if I could pop that, I can break this whole thing here off. This is not designed. This is one piece. This is not designed to come off. I could, I could probably break this off. Yeah. But, I mean, it feels nice. But, yeah, I wouldn't put it past it. It'd probably break. But this right here... And this reel here is cheaper than that Ryobi by like about 30 bucks. That Ryobi's 80. This one here was like 50. I, I, I give it to Caesar. They're making some really nice stuff. Maybe they should send me some stuff for free. That would be nice. Hey, Caesar, if you're watching this video, send me some stuff for free <laughs> so I can try it out for you guys. Anyway. Next time I'll come back with this on a swim bait rod and we'll try it out and see what we got going. Um, this will be really good for Huddleston's. Huddleston's really good for this time of year. I'm interested. I want to try the uh, new uh, Z-Man uh, uh, Mulletron. That's what's called, Mulletron. I want to try that out. It's got the same tail as the, um, the Huddleston, but it's got mm, a line through design and the hook, the hook pops out. So... You're not fighting with nothing but the fish. The fish doesn't have any leverage point on you. All right, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to leave a link to you where I got it from on AliExpress. If you have any questions, please give me, just put them down below. I'll answer them for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If it's your first time to the channel, go and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you nothing. It's, I'm trying to put out two or three videos a month. Two or three videos a week, a week I mean, not a month. Um... I'm trying to figure out it's doing, yeah. I was called loosen this way down. That's what that is. Yep. It says it's got 15 kilograms of max drag. So that's about 35 pounds of drag. Wow. That's pretty crazy. I can't see why you'd ever need that, but. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could be out doing some jigging or striper fishing or whatever. And you could use that, but. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm really impressed with Caesar for a, a newer company, um, making some really good reels for a really good price. I mean, I, I'd be hard pressed to think that Caesar's probably one. I'd be, I'd be willing to say Caesar's one of the best budget reels you can get right now. I mean, that's just being honest and truthful. Um, I've got, this is my fourth Caesar. I haven't really used the other Caesar. Two, I've got these two Caesars I've been using a lot. And I've got another Caesar I haven't really had a chance to use yet. Um, but I'm going to. I mean, it feels really good. I've done videos on them. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to hop off here. Till next time, tight lines. Y'all stay safe out there. It's getting cold. Don't get in that water.